Hovitec. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to extract an OFP file. And for this particular guide, I'll be extracting from OFP to scatter format for a MediaTek device. Um, I'll be using a, a Realme 8 um, 5G for this guide. Now you need to have set up Python on your device. You need to have internet connection um, also. Uh, you need to have the OFP file for your device. OFP is the firmware format for brands like um, OnePlus, Vivo, Oppo, Realme. Okay. And you need to have the Oppo Decrypt zip. Um, I'll link to a guide. Uh, I'll link to um, the download um, resources for all of this. Apart from the firmware, of course, because that depends on your own model. And you need to have um, sparse image to image exe if you're on Windows. And if you're on Linux, you need to um, install um, that. So um, with all this in place, um, the first thing you do is to extract your firmware, of course. I have 7-zip installed, so I will just extract that. So it's um, a .ofp file. So I will extract that here. So while that is extracting, um, I will also extract my Oppo Decrypt um, script. Now, uh, while this is still extracting, I can start setting up the Oppo Decrypt. So you open this Oppo Decrypt folder, you right click here, you copy the address, then you come to your command prompt, cmd, uh, then you, okay, let me just expand this. So then you cd space and you paste the address. I'm sorry. okay so um while you're in this folder now the next thing you do is to set up so you just copy this command pip3 install requirements and this is where you need an internet connection for setting up okay um, setup is done, so I'm standing by for extraction to complete. Alright, so extraction is done and I have the file. So next you move it into this Oppo Decrypt folder. Alright, so this is where we now start the extraction. So um, here's what the command looks like. I'm working on a MediaTek device. So if you are working on a Qualcomm, your command is um, going to be different, of course. So um, MediaTek, this here is for Qualcomm, and this here is for MediaTek. So this is what I will be using. So now you have um, this, this, this. So now this is the file name, okay? So I copy this from here. and i replace that and then the directory i want to extract you can see i have an um i have a a dot of an ofp folder here so this is what i want to extract into so it will look something like this So um, this is the command I'm to run for a MediaTek device, the file name and directory I want to extract to. So I just copy, I come here, um, let me come back in here. So um, that is py-3, if you're using Python 3 of course, py-3, this is the format you would go with. So I'm picking this command from the documentation directly, so I'm just trying to show you how you would go about it.
I expect to be extracted within this script, of course. So this is where it would be. All right. So I have um, my files here, which are ready for flashing. I have a scatter file over here. So you would assume you are ready to flash with um, tools like SP Flash to MSK client and the rest, but that's not necessarily the case. So um, the reason is that we have super. You can see we have uh, usually you have a couple of them. You have multiple supers. So um, depending on your carrier, you now have to decide which of the supers you would need um, to merge in order for you to work. So you have this. Um, You have this um, super map file. That will tell you um, how to merge it. For some cases, you you see it as a CSV, um, which it's, it's a CSV actually. Let's confirm that because I don't have here. Yeah, I can see the CSV. So it's looking, I can't look in this way because of my own PC down here. So um, this tells you what you have here is it tells you which of the supers you would need to merge for a particular carrier. So depending on the depending on the um, carrier your or, or your roof or your phone's region, um, you would usually choose different supers um, to merge into one. So um, this um, this is India India. You would have different um, regions or different like that. So I'll just pick this one. Let's assume the region I'm trying to flash for is this one, this India up here. So these are the supers I need to match. So what you just come here, what you just do here is you copy this out. And then you come to the notepad here. So now this is where you just paste it. So we have S image to image, we copy this. So you just remove the commands and just put back the space. Okay. And this is going to be .exe of course. And let's say this is going to be the file name. I'll just call it super.img. So that's how you modify the command. So um, the next thing we do now is we copy these three files. This, this, and this. I can spot this one here. I can spot this one here, 692. And I can spot this one, A17 here. So usually you have several supers. You can see I'm spotting those three here. But usually you have several. So this tells you which one to merge. So I'll just cut. I'm coming to the merge folder where this exe is and then I paste and then I copy the address I open command prompt you can use PowerShell of course if you want but I tend to run into issues sometimes so I just prefer to go the command prompt to it so now run the command And then you wait.
all right so that is done now we have the merge super so you can then cut this and go back here and back in the OFP folder so now I have a full scatter firmware so now you can flash um, your firmware using SP flash tool but um, one more thing or MSK client one more thing you need to open a scatter file and then you locate super so you can see it's download is set to false you need to set this to true so that it will load the file when you load SP flash tool you know the file name already matches what I named it to so just set it download to true and save and you are good to go so now you can load the scatter file and flash away so that's how to convert um, an OFP file to scatter format and also merge the super images into one for a MediaTek Android device um, using the OPPO Decrypt and Sparse Image to Image um, um, .exe.